I said I native mean, born. I said native born Americans have are being replaced, including blacks. Native born Americans. Native born Americans. And Americans you, who've like black Americans have been African Americans have been in the United States for in many cases their families over four hundred years, and their concerns are every bit as real and valid and alive to me as the concerns of white people whose families have been there four hundred years. So I, I've never said that whites are being replaced. Not one time, and I you can't cite that's it. Untrue. So, um, I'm, so we, we just met, but when our relationship starts with a lie, it makes it tough to be friends. So well, let's, I mean, you've been let, lying let's about pull that back. I'm happy to explain what I do well, think. So. Um, well, you actually can't say it because I didn't say it, and I don't believe it, and I'm telling you that to your face, so why don't you just accept me at face value? My well, concern is that the people who are born in the country are the main responsibility of its leaders. That's Tucker Carlson absolutely destroying woke Australian reporter Kat Wong for lying about him to his face. Welcome to Nurk News, I'm Nurkish, and today we're gonna to take a look at the American left's chief exports, idiotic race-obsessed politics, and terrible journalism. Here's a smug lady with a funny accent trying to smear Tucker for pushing the dangerous great replacement theory lie that Democrats and the news media have openly acknowledged and celebrated for years, and the UN has literally published papers about. Thank you so much for your address today. Um, so you talked a little bit about immigration, and in the past you've talked about how uh, white Australians, Americans, Europeans are being replaced by non-white immigrants in what is often referred to as the Great Replacement Theory. This is the same- Have, have I said that whites are being replaced? Well- I don't, I don't think I said that. Well, it's been mentioned on your show 4,000 times. And really, it, when did I say that? On your, on your I said show, whites are being replaced? You have said that before. Really? Yeah. I, I, I would challenge you to cite that because I'm pretty sure I haven't said that. And as noted earlier, when those leaders shift their concern from the people whose responsibility it is to take care of to people around the world to put their priorities above that of their own citizens, that's immoral. And they are being replaced in my country, people who were born in the United States. And the birth rate tells the whole story. They are not at replacement rate. And so the U.S. population is growing because we're importing people from other countries. And my view is that happy people have children and a functioning economy allows them to do that. And we don't have that. And so you need to fix the economy and fix the culture and make it so that people who want to have kids can. You don't just go for the quick sugar fix of importing new people. Like that's my position. And if you think that's racist, that's your problem. I never but, called you a racist. Um, but, but, of course you, but of course you are suggesting, and well, I, must, I must say one of the reasons people, people don't like people like you in the media is that you never say exactly what you mean. This is 100% true. My objection to biased news media isn't necessarily that it's biased, it's that it pretends to be objective news and operates in such a sleazy and underhanded way. They hardly ever come out and attack something directly. Instead, they'll use phrases like critics say as cover so they can maintain a patina of being objective journalists, which anyone with two brain cells can see is a load of BS. How about no more lying in your questions and then I'll answer it. Okay, well. Um, this is the same theory, or as you say, idea, that has inspired the New York Buffalo shooting where oh, 11 God. black Americans Come were killed. Oh, God, Two you know white what I mean? Americans were killed. Like, and it's also okay, inspired... My, it, the, it's not, first of all... It's inspired the worst, the, one of the worst Australian guns of all time How do they get people this stupid in, in the media? I guess it doesn't pay well. Look, I, I'm sorry, I've lived among people like you for too long, and I, I don't mean to, I don't mean to call you, call you stupid. Maybe you're just pretending to be, but I've never... I'm totally against violence. I'm totally against the war in Ukraine, for example, which doubtless you support. And like all dutiful liberals support more carnage. I don't. I hate mass shootings, actually. Nothing I said, what does it mean to inspire something? My views are not bigoted against any group. They're honest, they're factual. That's not hate, that's reality. And my views derive from my deep concern for Americans, actually. Americans aren't having kids because they can't afford to. And nobody in charge cares. And so that's my position. That doesn't inspire mass shootings. How dare you try to tie me to some lunatic who murdered people? Right, so therefore you support gun control? What? You know, this just really highlights the sad state of the world. I mean, these aren't serious people. They aren't sending their best anymore. This whole thing feels like it's from one of those compilations of Ben Shapiro destroying college freshman students or something. But it's not. This woman is a reporter. She's supposedly a professional journalist, yet she operates like a mean girl in a high school cafeteria. I thought it could get dumber, but it did. No, I don't support disarming law-abiding people so they can't defend themselves. So the government has a monopoly on violence? I don't think so. First of all, in my country, that's illegal, as you know. But moreover, it should be illegal in every country. A sovereign person has the right to defend himself and his family, period. 
And that said, I'm totally opposed to harming anyone, anyone. Have you been calling, are you concerned about the war in Ukraine and the countless innocents being murdered there every single day? I doubt you are. Probably Putin bad. I am, I'm a Christian. I hate violence. I hate mass shootings. I have guns at home and often on my person when I'm in the United States, I'm proud to say, because I want to defend myself and those I love against violence. That's the point. I'm not perpetrating crimes. I'm not shooting strangers. I'm defending what I love. And if you're against that, I guess I, I would ask why. Why would you be against that? Well, so you don't think you harbor any kind of responsibility for these hate crimes? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to be charitable. I'm trying to be charitable. I was like, maybe you're just pretending to be dumb. Now I don't think it's an act. You know, we're quickly getting to the point where it's not even worth talking about things like this with these people. They operate in bad faith, share completely different values, and frankly, I'm not even sure we speak the same language anymore. I mean, who wants to have a heated discussion with someone when it's likely that you have different definitions of fundamental words like citizen, racist, man, woman, crime, and responsibility? I mean, what's the point? But let me know what you think. Is the marketplace of ideas alive and well? or is reconciling our differences a lost cause? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nurk News. Thanks for watching. Bye.